for Tima really ain't the one to play with. But does she have a point? Is they still in love with Karen or was it really a slip up? Hey y'all and welcome back to Life with Chessie. This is a review for Tyler Perry's Sister, Season 5, Episode 4. Okay, so Zay done called for Tima Karen names. From, they picked up from last week when he called <laughs> for Tima Karen name or whatever. And I said, oh, Lord, I know that would have made any woman upset. I know that would have made anybody upset, not just a woman. Okay, so he done called the good for Tima Karen name. And I probably would be upset. However, I think that she kept on bringing up Karen's name. So, I can see why Zach called her that. She was trying to leave, but Zach was trying to communicate with her. Um. So, yeah. I forget, I left that part out. But, yeah. um, I, can, I don't know. What y'all think? Comment down below. Do y'all think that he accidentally called her Karen because she kept on bringing up Karen's name? I know. I ain't gonna tell no story. When I was just writing this review or whatever, and I was talking about Karen, I was like, Karen calls Karen. I said, Lord, I'm pulling the Zach. I don't call this girl <laughs> or whatever. But yeah, I was like, I kind of see both sides because I would be a you calling me somebody else's name, not just somebody else, your ex. But then it's like, okay, you kept on bringing her up and stuff, kept pushing on. He kept telling you that he not and all this stuff. But she said she can't shake this feeling. I don't know, y'all. Y'all don't know. Do y'all think that Zach is really old for Tima? Not old for Tima, Lord Jesus. See? See how easy it is to happen? <laughs> but do y'all think that Zach is really over Karen? And it's just, um, like Andy said, trauma bonding or whatever. More of a trauma bonding thing or whatever. But okay. So, um, Zach is trying to communicate with Fatima. And she's pushing him. She keep pushing him. She pushing him away on sister. She pushing him away on Zatima. I said, they're going to have more problems. Oh, my goodness. I don't know, y'all. Y'all think they're going to make it? Hopefully so, because on the team, they engaged, so they should be all right. I don't know, though. I don't know. But he's trying to communicate with her, and she keep trying to leave. He's like, he's not going to let her leave. And she was like, she could feel it. She could feel herself about to go off or do something. She's going to tear everything up. He's still not trying to let her leave. So she was like, it sounded like she said she wanted to slap the, you know, what out of him or whatever. So she storms off and everything. Guess who pops up? Ding, ding, ding. You guessed it. Deja. I say, is that how it really be? Is that how it be women or men waiting on your relationship to have problems or end or whatever? She just back there. We ain't see. I knew she was over there. But I thought uh, maybe she was too far away. She like, I seen what happened. I said, I bet you did, girl. I bet you did. But Deja um, just keep trying and trying. And like, girl, Zach keep trying to save you, but you trying it. He trying to warn her like he was trying to um he was trying to come down Lori up on the team or whatever and they just keep on coming for this crazy lady <laughs> the crazy lady being for team or whatever but um they just keep trying or whatever and he trying to st tell her stop I'm trying to just trying to get her to leave and everything she with her friends and everything trying to show up and everything but okay so Calvin they show Calvin and uh. At Maurice's house. Well, they house. Maurice and Calvin's house. Calvin's sitting up there looking foolish as Q comes out the room with that lady he was with. Or whatever. Sitting up there looking like pounding or whatever. He's sitting up there. <laughs> I said, look at him. He gonna raise up. Q said, what you gonna do? He gonna raise me down. <laughs> oh, sorry if I'm yelling too loud, y'all. He raised me. So what you gonna do? <laughs> I said, right, what you gonna do? He did try, though. I'll give him a C for effort. A C for effort. I'll give him that. <laughs> But yeah, he comes out the room and everything. So I was like, I hope Maurice get him when he get out. I I still said the same thing. And I didn't write this in my notes or whatever. I still say they're gonna have to team up, especially when Danny finds out who Q really is or whatever. If she don't know already, but it don't seem like she really know. But I don't know. We'll see though. But I said they're gonna have to team up. I thought for sure Cameron was recording him then. I mean he kinda got a confession out of him, but he was more so speaking like Maurice was in on it. They gonna need him to admit that he set up that he's the one who was behind it and that he set up um Maurice and Sabrina to get them both cleared. Not just saying like I feel like Q kinda picked up on it or whatever because he was like, um, what are you doing? And all this stuff. I was like, he picked up on it. So I thought Calvin, this man, I thought he was from the gear he had got up after Q left 
or whatever. I'm like, he got the recording. He got some of the recording or something. This man gonna bring out the, I guess, a locksmith or whatever. But um, before we get to that part, Q was just taunting Calvin about what he gonna do and all this stuff. Calvin decides to have the locks changed, like I was saying after um, he left. He jumped up. I was like, did he try to record him? He gonna bring the dude out, and he's like, come on, he's gone and all this stuff. I want locks a bolt in there. I said, do you really? To think that's going to help. This man probably been in and out of jail. I think he have or whatever. And not just if he have been in and out of jail. Sometimes criminals just know how to pick locks, how to break locks. You think that he going to mess around like you out your own house. <laughs> and uh, Q told him, he was like, I know you basically told him, I know your name ain't on the lease either. And I said, up. Oh. I said, up. Oh. <laughs> oh, my goodness. They're going to have to set him up. To get him out, they're going to have to set him up. But, okay, Fatima over here is day just talking to her friends about Zach and what she going to do to him and all this stuff. So, Fatima was like, that's the last time she goes over there. Man, her friends ran so fast, but you could have kind of knew. I was like, y'all ain't going to have a bad. They go out there and call for help or whatever. So, Zach going to try to come in or whatever. They going to try to stop him. And then, tell me, that's the ladies' room. I said, are you crazy? She going to break that good um off. And, she, and he trying to say, with well, you over here blocking the door. But, uh, she over here is day just talking about Zach and she slams Deja hand in the locker repeatedly. I said, listen, Fatima ain't the one to play with. She really ain't. She really ain't. I would have liked to see Fatima go to the dinner to just to see how everybody interact, how she responds to um, Miss Lisa trying to get them all together. Uh, if Miss Lisa go talking to her crazy, what's she going to say? Because I feel like, I don't know, y'all think Miss Lisa give, get, Miss Lisa and Karen combined would give Fatima a run for her money or whatever? Because Miss Lisa was telling Karen, uh, what would she do if I'm right here and all that stuff? I was like, oh no, the girl crazy and she got goons. <laughs> she got back up. She got back up or whatever. But I would like I thought that Fatima was gonna say, Yeah, I'm gonna go because she gonna make sure, you know, Karen gets the message or whatever. But she's like, no, she not going. So I was like, Well, I guess we won't see that part. But yeah, um y'all think Fatima is that gonna have problems down the line about how Fatima handles things, y'all know cause everything she just she go from zero to one thousand, ain't no one hundred. She go from zero to a thousand real fast or whatever. It shouldn't be trying to hear it. Every time they trying to talk to us, she don't be trying to hear it. Listen, I love them. I like them together or whatever. But I can see there being a problem down the line. Threatening him. She remember when she threatened to throw herself down the steps? I was like, yeah, she gonna have to tone it down or something. She gonna have to tone it down. They're gonna have more problems. That ain't gonna have nothing to do with Karen this time or Deja. But um I forgot to mention, but didn't Deja say she wasn't gonna have the ring already? Then she said she was going to go ahead and ring already. I said, ain't that something? I think Fatima told Zach uh, that on Zatima, on the show Zatima, if you haven't watched it or whatever, you should check it out. But um, I think she said, watch, she, then it's going to come a moment where she ain't going to have the rent, and you know what she going to say she could give you? And she already done said it. I said, listen, Fatima knew she said that. And then after the little uh, situation in the locker room or whatever, Zach told Deja she better have the rent and everything. I was like, yeah, it's going to be a problem. I wouldn't be shocked if Deja tried to file a complaint or sue Zach for harassment, even though she been the one after him. I know y'all probably said, well, why would she do that? But don't y'all know, it's some, it's a lot of shows out there where that happens, where the man doesn't want the woman, that, even not she keeps on or whatever. So she was like, oh, he harassed me. Then try to gather up fake evidence or whatever, like he did. So I was like, I wouldn't be surprised. Listen, Fatima told him. She told him or whatever. But he don't let the girl move in. I said, oh, my goodness. I wouldn't be surprised. Or whatever it's called when you rent out um the place. Um, do they do that where it's against the law where you can't be messing around with your tenant or whatever? I mean, he not. But then they got the picture. They got the picture. Or was that a video on Zatima where Deja was on Zach's lap? Ooh, that is evidence. Oh, my goodness. But, okay, so Pam goes to check on Karen and... Uh, let's her know that she did it. She wasn't the one that told Aaron that she was at the hospital or whatever. Hold on, I need to scratch this. Okay, so I'm back. But Pam goes to check on Karen and lets her know that she didn't tell. She wasn't the one that told Aaron she was at the hospital and reminds her of the doctor Aaron knows there. And she was like, I did a violation of HIPAA in there. She's a hip hop, HIPAA or whatever. And uh, she was like, Yeah, or whatever. So I was thinking, why didn't Karen? Karen was just too upset, I guess, or too emotional, or just look for a reason to be mad. Well, she kind of confirmed that later on that she was looking for a reason to be mad. But yeah, she confirms that she that um he she reminds her that she knew that uh, Aaron knows a doctor there, and I was like, yeah, it'd be a lot of people violating HIPAA 
but they don't never get pay for their crime or whatever. But yeah, uh, now after she says that, now Karen looking crazy. Done already started messing between Zach and Fatima for nothing, or should I say more mess between Zatima for nothing or whatever. Don't start all this mess. That's you came in here messing up what they got going on. You didn't even stop the ex, and the Aaron tried to tell you no. That's not who did. Why would this girl? That's probably, that must have been something that Karen would do. Because I was like, when she said that, I was like, now why would she go telling Aaron? Come on now. You act like they kick it on a daily basis or something. Now, I would have assumed if they kicked it on a daily basis, maybe. But this girl don't be with this man. So I said, this girl delusional. I said, she done lost it. She definitely done lost it. But uh, Karen mama calls Aaron and Zach over for dinner. Well, she invites them over and everything. Well, you know, to talk or whatever. Aaron agrees, of course. He gonna stay agreeing. This man gonna have to put his foot down. He gonna have to put his foot down or something. He gonna have to put his foot down. He gonna, he gonna eventually get sick and tired of her and her behavior and her attitude. Listen, a lot of people though, because she be talking crazy. She did apologize to Pam. Maybe with Miss Lisa there, she'll do better or whatever. But I mean, Lisa, Miss Lisa got her writing these um, letters and stuff, so maybe within the letters she'll apologize to Aaron how she been treating him. And she'll just let Zach know finally everything about how she loved him and she was the one there for him and it hurts to see him so willing to just give her the next lady you know the benefits that she should have been reaping or whatever because that's her mindset and everything that be a lot of people mindset you know so maybe with these letters she'll finally get it out but do y'all really think that letters gonna help this lady start acting the way she been acting or whatever I don't know. What if she finally lets him go and then he start? Is that, I said that before, before I deleted my other channel. I said, what if he start uh, realizing that he really is still in love with her? I said, ain't this something? Once she finally moves on with Aaron or whatever. I don't know. We gonna see though. But, um, yeah. But, yeah. um, Miss Lisa invites Aaron over. Like I said, he agrees. And she calls Zach, too. And he's like, he'll see it. She's like, no, you'll be there. And she... Also invites for team over, and I was I had said no. I said no, you don't want for team over there. As bad as for team is right now, you don't want for team over there, girl, Miss Lady. <laughs> but uh, Zach is at the same time. Zach told her no, that's not gonna be a good idea. If you don't want Karen stress, you definitely don't want them. Listen, that's gonna be the definite stress because for team ain't for team is gonna check her about all the b words she don't call her, she don't insult her, and everything. But um, then they go to the to where at the airport where Danny works and everything, and Ann walks Q, and uh, I guess Danny's boss or whatever. So they don't they don't gaze Q Zach's old job or whatever, and I don't think Danny realizes who Quincy aka Q Q is yet because the the man introduced him as Quincy, and I don't know for sure if she knows if she do know. We'll see because on the preview she's like telling him. That he ain't gonna last and all this stuff. And I was like, maybe it's not being revealed yet. But, and maybe they could be used, cause he's flirting with her. And I ain't write that down, but he's flirting with her and stuff. So she could use that to her advantage about, um, did you hear about, you know, they could trap him. I hope that he doesn't catch on to who she is, though, that she knows them and everything. But yeah, if they gonna reveal it. But, um, Andy tries to get Fatima to see. From a different perspective or whatever. Fatima said she has this feeling that she can't shake about Zach still having feelings for Karen and everything. And I was like, you might be right. You know, they said a woman's intuition. But I don't know. But he done proposed and everything on Zatima. So, I don't know, y'all. I don't know how they going to end this. You know, Tyler Perry shows be ending crazy in the mood. So, we can't assume nothing, really. So, Karen finally calls Andy and lets her know what's up. And Andy lets Danny know as well. Not to stress Karen. And not to let her know about Sabrina and everything. So I was like, the girl's going to have to build a stronger bond than this. Because it's leaning at this point. But nobody knows what's going on with nobody. Everybody keeping secrets. One group, one side of the girls. One half of the girls is more close to the other, each other than the other half of the girls and everything. I said, they're going to have to fix this. That's why people are coming in and out. Able to do as they please. Y'all can't see it coming because y'all ain't as close as y'all supposed to be. Karen missed that she just wants to be mad at Fatima because she mad at Zay, but we knew that already. We already knew that. Karen admits that she just wants to be mad at Fatima because she mad at Zach. I can even say it again because I don't know. But um, it kind of seemed like Zach and Fatima are going to work things out. But anytime they get to, they get on good terms, here comes some mess. Something else pops off or whatever. Yeah. So Hayden does what he does, lurk and start trouble. He says that Robin has been 
he been meeting. You do you, he asked Andy, do you want to see who he been meeting with? They been talking for a, a, a while or whatever. So Andy looking all scared and stuff. So I'm guessing more than likely based on the preview, it's Gary. And I said, not Gary having me those to prove a point. And Annie don't feel for it. Now, she knew better. She brought this on herself. She brought this on herself and she don't regret it. She looking all scared. Now she now who's she gonna get help from? He been running around helping her and everything. And on the preview, um, Gary told my son she gonna have the ring back on her finger. I said, Man, but y'all let me know what y'all thought of this episode down below. Until next time, deuces.